Hello! We're going to be going over a game today called Missing Percentage. Our question that we're going to be considering is how do we turn fractions into percentages? And the standard we're going to be working on is for 6th grade, asking them to find a percent of a quantity at a rate per 100. For this game, you're going to need students to have a pencil, their math notebooks, a deck of cards, and be in groups of two. For their deck of cards, they're going to separate all of the face cards except for the ace. They want to keep the ace in there as the ace is going to represent one. You're going to have, you're going to remove your jack, queen, and king and put them over to the side. Each student gets four cards. And they will each look over their cards for a minute and then we're going to, they're going to be working on creating fractions. So one student gets to be the numerator and one student gets to be the denominator. What they're going to be doing is drawing one card at a time, creating a fraction with it, then creating a percentage that represents that fraction. They're going to take turns being the numerator and denominator, and they're going to be filling it out on this piece of paper here. So let's say that student A places a, oops, sorry, a 3 here, and student B places a 5 here. Their fraction is 3 fifths, and they're going to work to find this percentage. They're going to write all of this down in their math notebooks, and they're going to show me their proof, and that way they can also jot their thoughts down as they go. So for 3 fifths, they know that 5 goes into 120 times, so they're going to multiply both of these by 20 to get 60 over 100, which creates 60%. Whoever gets there the fastest gets a point and a check part, and they put a little check in their notebook to symbolize that they got that they won. They're then going to play another round. Another example I have here is six eighths. This one is a booger fraction because of the eight, right? But they know that they can simplify six eighths down into three fourths, which creates a much nicer fraction. Four goes into 125 times, so they can multiply the three and the four by 25 to get 75%. Another challenging example would be one over nine where they instead might have to show their division first to see how many times 9 goes into 100, which is 11.1. .1. So they'd multiply both of these by 11.1, one, by .1, and they'd get 11.1%. Again, whoever gets to the fastest makes a little check mark. Now, you, this game is a little challenging because you can get mixed fractions in there, or improper fractions. And what you're going to want students to do is work through it and know that you can have over 100% in this case. So an example would be the flip of this fraction right here, which is 8 over 6, which when they simplify it down is 1 and 2 over 6, knowing that they only have to deal really with the 2 over 6. They will figure out how many times 6 goes into 100, which is 16.6, which rounded is 16.7. And they're going to multiply both the 2 and the 6 by 16.7, to get 33.3 .3 over 100, which equals 33.3%. But remember, we have this one over here. So they're going to make 133.3%. Again, they'll be able to both work at the same time by placing their cards down on the, on the uh, graph, on their demonstration, and they'll solve it from there. And they will take turns for about five to 10 rounds or until time is up, depending on how long it takes. That way each student encounters a wide range of problems and has adequate time to solve them. Thank you very much.